Bows. 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 Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check, check, check. It's Unique House. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Mr. Jamaica. What's going on? Not none, you know, my dad walk on. Man, hey, man, listen, man, we got a special guest in here today, y'all. He don't need no introduction, man. He's a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> my guy, man, baby Sam's in the building, man. And yeah. I think I think he got ESG on the phone. I hey, think hey, he got hey, ESG on the phone. Hey. Hey man, it yeah, it's my it's my nigga birthday, man. Man, happy, happy birthday, birthday, ESG man. Hey man, I just turned. I call, I call myself the Big Four O. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm glad to see you in good spirits, man. Man, I'm great, bro. You know what I'm saying? We'll we'll, we'll get into what, what I'm going on a little bit later, but you know what I'm saying, my boy, Fun Time, Baby Sam, as I call him. Uh, I, I ain't even calling Baby Sam no more. Big Sam, the big, big, I don't know what I'm going to call it, but <laughs> the Big Fontaine showed up. It crazy. And popped up for my birthday out here. You know what I'm saying? My mama already out here. My brother flew from Cali. My sister drove from Baton Rouge. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I got a host of family friends here. So uh, Sam kind of came and regulated and brought me some birthday cakes and all that, man. So, you know, just to keep me in good spirits, baby. Man, that's so what it's... To go down. Listen, man. Hey, man, listen, man. That's a friend, man. Anybody's going to come up there and bring that cake? <laughs> listen, man, that cake yeah, is yeah. serious on your birthday. <laughs> nigga, I ain't really... I got about two cakes and, and, and I'm 50, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. That's, that's my brother right there, man. He's more than a friend, bro. You know man. what I'm saying? He don't, I ain't going to lie he the only he the only nigga beside my mama let talk shit to me. Man, <laughs> hey, hey, but listen, man, talking, you got to have one of them on your team. Shit. Yeah, if he talking shit to me, that mean he, he telling me the truth. That's real, man. Hey, we just want to wish you a happy birthday, man. And hey, you know already we gonna we gonna sit down and talk here in a minute anyway, man. But it's so much love over at Boss Talk One on One ESG, man, in the building, y'all. Stop Bye. playing. Let's get it. Man. I'm finna, I'm, finna have, I'm finna have a wardrobe change because I can't be on here with this goddamn hospital guy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> take it easy, man. All right. All right. I'll be back. All right. Man, he gonna call back. Man, it's good to have you both back on the show, man. Yeah. And I know already, man, you've been going through a lot and doing a lot of different things, man. I just wanted to say, mm -hmm. man, um, you know, we all we all know we heard it, heard everything that was really going down yeah. when it came down to ESG. We kept hearing everything, man. Uh, the ones who in the know, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We didn't hear. Dallas talk, the streets talk. Right, right. So, right. but me, you know, I'm the type of person. I'm just listening. I don't believe nothing until I hear it from you. Yeah. Or if I hear it from E, because I got the numbers. Mm -hmm. Right. So right. I'm like, man, let me call. You know, me and my right. wife talked. So let me call. Is this well, I mean, true? Yesterday, you know, was the day that he actually just posted his post and made I it. seen that so I would you know I've been quiet about it I wasn't gonna say nothing you know I felt like that was whenever he say something then yeah. he'll go from there but you know it's it's a uh, situation that was just a night that wasn't crazy you know it man? went crazy real night. crazy how yeah. much am I hearing that's real and how much is I'm hearing that's not real um, mm -hmm. it, you hear things but you don't know if everything you're hearing is true yeah. he was running down the highway naked yeah. That's what it, this is what I heard. Right, right, right. I heard they were running right down the highway naked, and when uh -huh. he ran down the highway, a car hit him. Uh, in the middle of the night, he I don't know, mm -hmm. was he supposed to perform at the Cliff Club or what? Or maybe yeah, it was after yeah, he yeah, performed? Yeah. I mean, we, we got to the club, um, got to the club, went inside the little VIP, you know what I'm saying? And uh, once we got inside of there, shit just, you know, went left. Went left. Them. Like, you know, I have to be in there for a little minute. And I mean, some of what you're hearing is true, but some of it ain't. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like um, that's something that he, 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 he can't really tell the story probably because he probably wouldn't even remember, remember. that night. But I vividly remember everything. You know what I'm wow. saying? Wow. Where, so, where were you at? Were you in the club? Did you know he had left? Did you? How did it all happen? Yeah, so I was uh, shooting a uh, game of pool. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, uh, I went to the restroom and came back, and you know, everything just was. Oh, so when you came back, it was already. He was happened. already no, no, gone. No, no, no. He wasn't already gone. He just, you know, everything just went left. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And from there, it was kind of like a, you know, led to our side. You know what I'm saying? From our side, you know, 
led to some of what you heard. Like I say, it, it it's true to an extent, but it's it's how it happened. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, I mean, and and me, you know, I'm, you know, I, and like I said, I'm gonna ask you these questions, like, like yeah. when it comes down to like his, he been fighting cancer. Yeah. How much of this takes? Because you never heard these stories coming out frequent like this until now. Yeah. How much of a toll does that take on him? Far as you seeing the way he has been since he yeah, found I mean, out versus before he, you know, was dealing with that. Yeah, I mean, it's just, I mean, for anybody, I don't think different is is he. Who he is, Correct. you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's like anybody, anybody else would take it, you know what I'm saying? Some days it's bad days, some days it's good days, but this was just one of them days where, you know, I was really just gonna stay in the house this day, you feel me? So I feel like God put me in that car on that day to save your life, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, my knee was twisted and everything. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, shit, imagine just hopping damn near, uh, shit, a football field to the goddamn highway. You feel so me? you, your knee was twisted. You already had hurt your yeah, leg. Yeah, yeah. How I was did standing you hurt on my your goddamn leg? knee so goddamn long. Just fuck with the motherfucking dogs in the backyard, dog late. Okay. Yeah, so, um, man, uh, like I say, just imagine hopping all the way to that motherfucker. I was standing on that motherfucker so long that it's like, shit, I can I ain't even feel it no more. Just watching this nigga. It's like when I seen his leg, yeah. I ain't even feel my leg no more. You Cause you me? knew it was bad. Man, it's, it was super bad. Like just imagine like, you know, you looking inside this 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 blood on the ground and you see like bone, marrow, bone, like, you feel me? Yeah. Like you know, you feel me? And it's like if you if if you in a situation you apply pressure you feel me so you you supposed to apply pressure to the one this ain't one of those you feel me no because from the picture that um he posted yeah. there's no way you could apply pressure yeah. to to so, all so, of that so 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 from what he showed you imagine being there and the skin that they shaved off was still there shredded you feel me I'm watching the leg as it you feel me so it's like I'm just ready to do CPR right now like I'm telling my partner like we you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm, was he conscious or yeah, he was man, unconscious hey, I'm watching him taking his last breaths bro. I'm watching them, like literally, like literally, I'ma just say, motherfuckers around panic, you feel me? They panic, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I had to make the 911 call for the ambulance, you feel me? Run, run right here, limp, boom, I'm trying to, you feel me? In my mind I'm running, but shit, I'm limping in reality, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you know? So it's like, I gotta, whoop, this sign say, singing hills, okay, and this sign say, okay, boom, so, it's like shit, you know. I'm running and trying to get get boom. I'm trying to save his life, but it's like shit. When they came and hit him with that Narcan, how long did it take for the ambulance to come? I mean, you know, in your mind, that shit take like they, it take forever. Like, but but, but in, in reality, I say they got there in like five. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Five minutes or so. You okay. Feel me? So it was like you know, and then it was just so happened somebody was passing us up and hit a U turn and went flag the police down. And then they went in, you know what I'm saying, okay. dispatch, because they said okay. that the ambulance was going the wrong way. So okay. did the car stop that, that hit him? I mean, that's a situation where, you know, they did, and then it's like, shit, motherfucker took off. After they see what happened, they took off. You get what I'm saying? But the thing is that, okay, because looking at the pictures, um, when anybody think about a, um, a car hit you, because as that picture is showing his legs shaved already, right? Yeah, yeah. So when your car hits you, everybody's looking at that. I'm not mm -hmm. gonna say everybody because I can only speak for myself. Looking right. at that and be like, that car had to have drug him for a while for it to look that bad. Nah, it wasn't even that. It wasn't even that, like. Nah. No. I mean, it wasn't no dragging. So it was only dragging was getting the nigga out the road. You feel me? Oh, okay. That was only dragging. Like, nah, it was just a simple As simple as a hit. You know, just boom, 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 boom. You know what okay. I'm saying? Like you going through some apartments and you fly over speed boom type shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. So this 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 recovery process is gonna be tough for him. Man. Um, he's he's in good spirits. You just mm -hmm. seen him on. As, as yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's, he's in great. That's spirit. a miracle, though. Yeah, but to lose his leg like that, you know, it's got to be some things that, you know, you know, it's going to be some trying times, some ups and downs. You know, yeah. Um, just 
when you when you look at and think about like I know you're gonna be there for him the whole way, right, you know, right, like right, trying right. to help him to re- get mm-hmm. back up on his, you know, to where he can rehabilitate. He got to go right. through a whole re- rehabilitation yeah, process to yeah, learn how yeah. to walk and all mm-hmm. kind of stuff, mm-hmm. mentally and physically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a whole another process. So just imagine the cancer being one thing, and now you have to deal with the reality of, you know, what I'm saying you ain't ever gonna have that leg again. You see what I'm saying? Like right now. You know what I'm saying? They say it well. Well, he probably didn't already seen it. Like I, I was up there with him last weekend, but at that at that time, they was like he could still could feel the whole leg even though it ain't there. Really? Yeah, they say you could still feel the whole leg even though it ain't there. But once you actually look at it and your mind says it's gone, then that's when the reality kicks in. Uh, yeah. Wow. So, uh, it's just, it's so just when a, you talked to him before, when he was getting ready, how was his spirits going into the fact that I know I'm gonna have to get my leg taken? Off? I mean, it was like uh, I had talked to him a couple of days prior to that, and um, because he listens to you, and it, and I, I mean this that's the way this situation went was like uh, I ended up talking to his mama, and she was like, it's, it's like she was trying to tell me, I guess, to have a conversation with him about it, but. Me and him never had the conversation, and it was like she the next day, she just called me like you know uh, they you know they he, they took it. And I'm like took what? And it was like his leg. So I'm like okay, well boom, I'm gonna be right there. You know what I'm saying? First book, cause she like he emotional or whatever. So she when he woke up the next morning, I was there. Wow. Yeah. And that's good that you there for him, man. Um, I wanted to go back because I know you, I had cut you off when you were saying because when you said when the ambulance came mm-hmm. and they gave him. That, um, that Narcan shot, right? You, what else happened? Because you you were I mean, saying something from there. Else. From there, um, I mean, his he woke up like his, his body just set up mm. like in half. You feel what I'm saying? Like a nigga just sitting up off the couch or something, and she they just made him lay back down and you know put him on a little uh, board or whatever, whatever little thing that like, board before you get on the stretcher mm-hmm. shit, and she put him in there that little tonic tourniquet. They put mm-hmm, on, they mm-hmm. put that on his leg. Had to, so I'm man, just imagine when you ball a wiener. You know what I'm saying? And that motherfucker bust open. You know what I'm saying? That's how a nigga leg look. But I'm talking about just imagine from up under your nuts all the way to your ankle, and that nigga sock still on, but all the meat is just hanging. Like you feel me? That had to be painful, man. I don't even think he, he was, his body was so in shock. Like I, I was in shock. Like nigga, what the fuck, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't see some shit, but nigga, nigga. You did it what now, time nigga. was it? Hmm? What, what time, time did this happen? This shit was like about like one in the morning, almost two something probably like. Yeah. And and you didn't and, and you like you said you was playing pool, then you went to the restroom. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he had took off or how no no, no 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 no. He didn't take off yet. You feel me? It just was Went left. It went left. After I got back in the room, some shit went left. You know what I'm saying? Oh, when you got back in the room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And how long after you being in the room did he leave? How long all of that left went? I mean, that shit went left in like shit, like shit, like two, like in like two minutes. You know okay, what I'm like, and then I went back to the table to go rack up another game of pool, and it was like shit. This nigga done gone. What the fuck you doing, nigga? You know what I'm saying? You know, fuck up the money. You know what I'm saying? And right. Yeah, you know. One so you situation. didn't even get to perform. Hell no. Nah. Hell nah, I ain't gonna get to perform. Wow. And this is, is this, let's be real, man. This is the first time you've seen something like this happen with him? I mean, which, I mean, in this situation, it was like, it wasn't what probably the average person think in their mind, like, oh, yes, he was gone off some drugs. And nah, all right, let's put your mind in, let's put your mind in the, in the fact of like, you have a three hour, Drive it's like three and some change to get to Dallas from Houston. You feel mm-hmm. me? So in that time, nigga already know like nigga ain't doing that shit around me. You know what I'm saying? That's all. That's the number one thing I ain't going for. Correct. So you know me, him, and somebody else we in the car we driving. You know what I'm saying? We were on the way to whatever. But that shit never took place. You know what I'm saying? From there to there. So it's like if we when we get in this room, that's some shit. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, you a smell type shit. Correct. So nah, that ain't what it is. And then, you know, it was just a situation, but it's like when a situation, just imagine if something going on right in the room, and then that shit piss you off. And then that shit trigger whatever in your mind. You feel me? So that's when shit go left. You know wow. what I mean? So 
It's just some crazy shit that just went left. I don't, mm. I don't even know how to. But then, okay, because I remember the last time we interviewed you because yeah. of something that happened previously. Right, 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 right. And, um, you know, footage got out and all mm -hmm. of that, and you were like, well, if I had been there, the footage wouldn't have gotten out. Mm -hmm. I noticed with this time, no footage yeah. got out. Right. Was that um, because nobody recorded? It was people there, so see, they could have recorded shit, but, I mean, I was, I was in rage, baby top. Sam, so, you know. At the end of the day, yeah, yeah. Okay, because you can't find it anywhere. You yeah. can't find it anywhere. It I was, nothing. I said, it got to be some footage gonna come out of this. Nah, and ain't it didn't. See nothing nowhere. Ain't gonna find nothing nowhere. It's all. That's good. Yeah. So you know. So you you made sure that that, mm -hmm. that you know whatever. I, was. I figured that. I just yeah. wanted to ask. Yeah. 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 So. Man, you know where do how do you guys how do you envision you guys moving forward? I mean, <clears throat> um, I'm still on it. I got something dropping. You know what I'm saying? This month, me and Kenny Kane. You know what I'm saying? Kenny Kane from Memphis. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, uh, we redid really Murder. Really? Yeah, we did. So it's called Murder Money. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Me and Kenny Kane. So. Yeah, we still, I'm just going to keep pushing like, you know, shit, ain't nothing ever happened. You know what I'm saying? You got to do what shit. you got to do. If you lost your job, what you do? You feel me? You keep hustling. That's you know right. That's so, right. You know, at the end of the day, it's just shit. I'm going to carry this shit like it go. Yeah. You know yeah. I think I think that's important. How do you? Plus, plus, we got a bunch of unreleased shit, so niggas. Just, you and him really, got a lot yeah, of we stuff. we got a bunch of unreleased music, like albums and shit. Wow. But um, being there and witnessing all the things that you witnessed, how does that affect you mentally? I mean, for a few days... Just me knowing that, I mean, for that first 24 hours, I just was thinking of like, damn, when my nigga wake up, you know what I'm saying? Like, your reality is, how, like me knowing his reality, it was just him finna have to accept his reality, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know looking at your leg that night that, because the, the, it came over this dispatch that he had between a 43 and 60 kill percent chance of like. Living. Living, you feel me? So it's like, they say the leg got to go. So I'm like, damn, I'm in shock of them saying that shit like, nigga, So that was from the go. first night, first that was time? The first, the first night they had said it. So mm -hmm. for like two weeks, they tried to say the leg. You know what I'm saying? So the picture that y'all see is them trying to say the leg. Oh. You see what I'm saying? They're like, if you notice, it's a rod in the leg and everything. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Shaved and trying, they tried to say the leg. Mm -hmm. like, so for two weeks, they tried. So it was like a pulse. But no feeling type shit. You know what mm. I'm saying? So it's like you just carrying a limb around type mm. shit. So, you so know, it wouldn't make no sense. Right, right. You ain't no fucking around have a blood clot for no reason. That's right. Shit. Yeah, so, you know, the decision that was made, but I ain't had nothing to do with the decision at all. Yeah, but. But, but yeah. I most definitely would have told him the same shit. You know, that's going to save your life and keep, you know, another, you know, because I mean, see, you done, you done ran your laps around this shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas can say what they want. Niggas could put it in whatever perspective they want to, like, bro, whole uh, 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 a piece of this legacy. You know what I'm saying? The whole piece of everything that was built down here, like, whether he from here, or there, wherever he from, like, he a part of this culture shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, the nigga legendary, you know what I'm saying, in, in, in the time that it was hard for niggas to get out there. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. now it's, 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 it's too easy. You know what I mean? So, I mean... If, if he gave it up and said he was done with it, shit, I respect it. You know what I'm saying? But shit, nigga ain't done. Nigga got a whole lot more laps to run. You feel wow. Me? ESG, man. <clears throat> like I said, he's he definitely uh, um, uh, one of the guys that I've always admired when it come down to the music and the sound. Mm -hmm. uh, DeRo just left here. Uh, right. He sampled Swinging and Banging. That's his new... Mm -hmm. He got a new song right now. Oh, yeah. That he put... He really... He want me to put him on the phone with. He said he never got to meet E. I would, uh, I, and, and he wanted to talk, you know. And uh, I told him I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that still. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put yeah, him in yeah, touch yeah, with each yeah, other. Yeah, I say yeah, that yeah. he need to know that you, you know, yeah, 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 that yeah. you. He rock with him real tough. Right, it was right. funny how you was coming here yeah, and he, he was, was leaving. Yeah, well, I mean, and I told him maybe you know because the way he looked at me when he was like he knew me. I already I told him like, because we had already you know, told him about well, it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's most definitely we're gonna put it together. Yeah, because he he definitely he definitely. We just was talking about this. He didn't mm -hmm. even know. He yeah. he don't be he be so focused on his music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't know what we been going on for as yeah. even what he posted. Right, right. So right. it's like he's like, man, and he and like I said, that song you can look it up. He mm -hmm. he did a whole smooth vibe to that swinging and banging, man. Yeah. And he just loved the, loved the music, we man. Got to, we gonna have to check it out. Yeah, but I man, like 
Like, baby Sam, man, you and you and he been through so much, man. Like with cancer, uh, and then them cutting on his leg. That's another yeah. thing that messed with me, bro. Yeah. Like, I like, mean, cause my mama the, passed away from cancer. Man, his, his cancer treatment, shit. That shit like seven thousand dollars a shot. Uh, I mean, a well treatment. A treatment. You feel me? So it's like seven thousand dollars every time he go. And, and then, how many more treatments he had left before like, he finished? Like two or three. You know what I'm saying? So a nigga had to imagine pausing that shit. Go and hustle, then, make then me then money. Was, no, and no, then no, 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 no. Pause in that shit. Then, boom, this shit happened. This happened. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, it's like, now, you got to go step back to, you feel me? Because who knows? But, I mean, the shit was supposed to be shrinking or whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, but, hey, we never know how shit happened. You know what I'm saying? We nigga wasn't expecting that shit to happen. No. So, you know, it's just like, some shit that just... That right there just lets you know. Like, Cause that's yeah. the thing, you know, he would always say to me, how does this cut affect the cancer? Yeah. How does that, it, you know, is it going to affect it? Is it? Um, I mean, I'm gonna say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect it to, you know, affect it, but hey, who knows, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, right now it's just all about prayer. You feel me? I ain't in control, you ain't in control. You feel me? Only one person in control. Right. Like that night when it took place, like, God, that I believe. Mm. Me, me as well. Down no nigga say, me, me too. So it's like, God put me in that perspective. Cause it's like, I done saved every position, every situation. You feel me? I done saved them in situations where I could talk about this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Like, I done lost jury behind certain, some crazy situations. So it's like, at the end of the day, it's just one of them nights where like, you, you you gonna save his life, but you can't say what I'm doing. You feel me? Because it's like, well, me and you been having these conversations. You feel me? And it's like, hey man, you need to really slow down. You feel me? Think about it. So it's like, nah, you ain't got no choice but to think about it. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot of time to think about it. But it's like, it's fucked up that it took that for you to think about it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, a, you know. It's one of them times where, you know, it's a lesson at the same time, it's reality, you know what I mean? So it's like, see, God put me there, I guess, to save your life. You know what I'm saying? When you think about it, though, people, you know, people from the outside looking in, they've been seeing Baby Sam with ESG. And like last mm -hmm. time we told you, they, right. they even though, you know, you came and you mm -hmm. did the things you did Right. up to far to make it the best you could in the situation right. there are still going to be naysayers that's going to say man you ain't look out for ESG yeah okay well let, let, let me say it like this and put it to you like this alright my knee twisted right like I told him you feel me in, in the midst of whatever was taking place nigga I did what I did to you in the time of you trying to do this and it was like okay you listen to a nigga but Everybody else is panicking. So imagine your knee twisted and you trying to pick up a nigga who 200 plus pounds in your size. You feel what I'm saying? So my knee twisted. So it's like at the end of the day, I'm doing so much at the same time. A nigga tag out running, but you know, I'm just going to say, you know, another one of our friends that was with us saved his life as far as saving him from getting killed is what I'm going to say. He saved him from actually getting killed by the car. You feel me? How? how? Because the way... He was out in the road at first, laid out, laid out in the road. It was like his head was where his, where his leg was type mm -hmm. shit. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? After that happening, I'm telling him, like, hey, man, get him out, you know what I'm saying, out the road now because, you know, whatever. So it was like, now I, I This got before to, the car hit him? This before, before, before the car, the car hit him. Before the car, there's a whole episode going yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, it, you know, it's like, it's deeper to why I say the shit could have been prevented, but what's inevitable is... In it done already to happen. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, I could be fucked up with you for not, say we in a situation then, you don't shoot your gun, but you pulled it on a nigga. You get what I mean? Just by you pulling it might have, Go ahead. Just by you pulling it might have, you know, stopped the nigga from doing something, but the fact that it was a whole shootout and you ain't shoot, that's crazy. Yeah. So it's like, you saved him from getting killed, but I feel like in that instance, you should have went out a lot to just slow him down from even taking off running. You see what I'm saying? But that's just my opinion of how I feel about that night. You know what I mean? 
So it's like, I, I, what kind of what kind of conversations have you had with E about just the whole doing, you know, wed or whatever? Go getting on anything. I mean, we didn't had what if you, you I, fall I, out? This is the crazy it. part, right? And I we, know we didn't have, have we didn't have. <laughs> Plenty, yeah, pick that back up, we didn't have plenty foul like conversations, right? To the point to where it's like, nigga, that says some shit that nigga really can't take back, but I know you, I know you mad. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, I, I always been there regardless. You feel me? So it's like, now looking at you, but I can honestly say this situation has nothing to do with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's the craziest part, like. When you really get this story from the beginning to the end, you understand. So it's like an inevitable situation. Ain't got nothing to do with that. Like, imagine you done did all this shit. You done killed niggas, robbed niggas, shot niggas, set shit on fire. And the first time you go to jail is for a motherfucking traffic ticket. Mm. You feel me? And that traffic ticket, that traffic ticket that traffic ticket turned into some shit to where, you know, you sit back and now you 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 in jail and now you didn't you didn't did some shit that got you more time in jail. You get what I'm saying? So it's like one of those situations. You get what I mean? It's like you might not be doing it this time. You feel me? But all the other times that that it, it, it's it's more like this. Let me explain it like this. Like just imagine. You calling, but I tell you don't call my phone unless it's an emergency, but you just calling for some dry shit. And now that one time you really need me, I ain't picking up because I think you bullshit. Yeah. It's one of them situations. So you might not have been on drugs this time. You feel me? But that's what the people might believe. That's what they might think. But I'm, I came to do this interview to tell you that now. It didn't have nothing to do with that. It was just oh, okay. more of a situation to where a lot of anger was involved, you know what I'm saying? And... So it was a real situation. And it was a real situation or some other shit that led to, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't no, no it wasn't no fight. It wasn't no, no physical shit. You know what I'm saying? It was just some angry shit and, 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 and a mental mind state of some shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, I'm going I'm to let him give it from his perspective. And then, you know, once he speak, then I'm going to speak again. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. It okay. makes sense. Yeah. So it's like. That would only be right. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm give him a chance to speak. You feel me? And then I just give it to you right. Like anybody know me, know me. You know what I'm saying? Like I told him, I told him. But you know, like I didn't say nothing about it until he posted it. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's like you know. What when he texts me? He texts me. He died twice. Yeah. Explain to me what he mean when he say he died twice. Cause like, I know you. You know. Like as the ambulance pulling up, bro, go from breathing like. To you feel me? So I'm telling bro, like I'm trying to get his last. Yeah, so I'm like I'm gonna have to do CPR. On him, you feel me? But I, but you can't do CPR until they actually stop breathing. You feel what I'm saying? Oh really? And yeah, yeah, until they actually stop breathing. Do you know and, how to do CPR? Feel, and, but you got to still feel the pulse. Yeah, okay. took classes. I used to be out of school counselor. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you you basically was sitting there with him while he was taking his last <clears> breath. <throat> yeah, I was right there looking at him like I'm I'm steady like you know. I'm, I asked him when I when I when I came to see him like yo neck wasn't so when you woke up I was slapping the shit I I was slapping him like nigga wow. stay alive stay alive like stay alive e. you know keep what your saying? eyes open yeah, stay alive e. but you know another it was another you know what I'm saying comrade right there you feel me and he was he was you know doing his job to help him stay alive too you know what I'm saying like I'm um, just a situation where like the ambulance pulled up at the right time at like see probably a minute later see they. Probably would have been, you know what I'm saying? It'll be another situation. Right? So basically, for you, mm -hmm. if you look at it from a perspective of just imagine if you everybody panic, there, right? Everybody yeah. panic, right? Mm -hmm. And nobody call nine one the ambulance. You feel me? Now, in my instinct, you don't call that shit. So that shit was just crazy in my head. I can't even tell you the time I ever called nine one one. So and you don't call nine one one. It don't matter what it is, but just a situation where shit. You ain't had no choice. You feel me? Shoot. Yeah, I mean, I'm not calling the police. I'm calling the ambulance. Right, you ambulance. Know what I mean? So, if I didn't do that, I just feel like bro wouldn't be here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then just steady trying to keep him conscious. You know what I'm saying? Because his body was in shock. You know what I'm saying? Just imagine if he would have stayed in the street. Because a lot of calls came after that. You know what I'm saying? Until <laughs> I got somebody to cut the traffic off. You know what I mean? So, mm. 
yeah, it's a, it's, it's a situation. So that's why I say, you know, I'm going to let him tell it from what his perspective is, and then I give it to you raw. You know what I mean? But wow. I'm here basically just to let him know that it wasn't about no drugs or, you know what I'm saying, he was on now. Nah. If a nigga told you that, they lie. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then I'm going to tell you this, like, the actual situation outside the club, nobody actually seen but pff, four people. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying, the homeless nigga. You know what I'm saying? So the homeless so, nigga, the homeless nigga seen it all. You know what I'm saying? So if anything, I know that nigga ain't talking to y'all. <laughs> okay, so is the, but, but is the naked part true? Like they say running down the street naked? Um, Naked, I would say, he wasn't naked. You know what okay. I'm saying? No, he wasn't naked. They lying. Probably like his shirt off or something. The nigga like shirt, that. his shirt was off. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. how you naked? How you naked? And then like if I show you a picture right now, you wouldn't have no tennis shoes on. Wow. Yeah. Make it make sense. Tennis shoes, socks on. So you made me so make it make sense. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's just I'm just just the streets. You know, people talking. People, yeah. Yeah. He he bad. He doing. He messing with that wet again. Yeah. Nah. He nah, ain't, nah, he nah, ain't nah, really nah, just. Nah, nah, nah. He ain't. He do this all the time. But 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 like like I right. told him though. Because when people can't uh -huh. can't um, justify a certain action yeah. that was taking place, the only logical answer is to blame it on that. That's the reason why people say yeah, what they but, say. But I, I mean, like I say, when you keep calling my motherfucking phone, I told you to only call this number for emergency, and you steady calling because you want to borrow ten dollars, cash at me five, and nigga, I said emergency. So now when you calling this real call. And you really need me, you feel me? So, like I say, this time you wasn't on that shit, but they gonna believe it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. They gonna believe it until the true story woo. But he wanna give it to y'all, so shit, y'all gonna be where they get the real oh, yeah, story yeah. We'll from. Talk, we'll talk to him. I'm talking about from beginning to end. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's just what it is. But I'm here to tell him like it wasn't nothing to do with no sherm, and bro wasn't smoking no sherm. But definitely, like I don't know how his other nigga, but I'm one bro. Like bro. We gonna get into it for real, like for real. And you know him, so you should know when he's on something from when yeah, he's yeah, not. Yeah, 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 for sure. I yeah. mean, if, when you play this shit back, I done said so much shit that if you play it back again, I done said it already. What it really is, put it one and two together. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. Like it's just something that they gotta come to and accept what it is and, and deal with it. You know what I'm saying? But it's like a situation where shit ain't nothing but proud gonna help this shit. You mm -hmm. know, you know, we love E man and and the cancer thing. I know that's taking a toll on him. Mm -hmm. I know because at the end of the day, like I said, my mom died with cancer, and mm -hmm. and just having having to deal with that. I know, you know, we can smile and everything else, but right. that's something he got to sleep with, wake up with, yeah. try to figure out a way to live with it, and then right. beat it, right. and then what with, with everything you've explained, it's mm -hmm. just it's crazy the way that his story is played out. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, but to right. have a guy like you on his side, mm -hmm. that been I see the trips up here. Yeah. I see the the, the the sincerity in your heart. Yeah. You yeah. come here. I try to get you to come here twice now, and mm -hmm. you went straight to the hospital when mm -hmm. you got here because you that's your boy, man. Right, 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 right. You ride for him, and, and you know, and I respect it. You know that. Yeah. Love both of y'all, bro. Yeah. Like, like I just, man. You know, I want to see him. I want to see him beat this thing to where. You know he can get back up if he had to get a prosthetic leg or yeah. whatever he got to yeah, do. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's 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 another thing. But you know, it's like a eighty percent rate that people that get they you know limbs you know amputated, eighty percent of them don't like stay with the prosthetic. They go to the wheelchair. Shit. wheelchair. So that's just the most mental thing of what we gonna deal with with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you got to remember that you go from being a legend. In your own time, able to do what the fuck you want to do. Cancer come, you slap the shit out of cancer, and then it's like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So now it's like, shit, you know, it's just mentally dealing with this shit. But, you know, shit, I just believe he's strong enough. Man. I believe he going to overcome it because yeah. it's so weird because I sent him something this morning on Instagram. Yeah. I don't know if he saw it and read it. Yeah. But it was something inspirational because it popped up for me this morning. Yeah. And when I saw it, the first person I could think about because it was him because of the mm -hmm. situation he's going through. Right. And I, I, don't, I don't know if you saw it, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm just going to read a part of it. Mm -hmm. um, and it says, especially when our hearts is breaking, the tears are flowing and our dreams look shattered. God will allow our pain for his purpose. And his purpose is always bigger than just us. 
there is a people assigned to each of us that is imperative we go through trials and overcome them so that we can help help save others and heal delivered and set free some someone else else's trial is what saved your life someone else is someone else's deliverance is what helped you get delivered someone else's unashamed transparency helped you to be transparent so get ready to all of you joseph reading this you, uh, you understand yeah. what i'm saying yeah, so yeah, when, yeah, when yeah. i heard that that's deep i thought about yeah. you know what he he he's going through and what he will go through to overcome this you know what i mean yeah that's yeah, uh, yeah. And that's I, deep. That's deep. Well, I mean, yeah. like I say, man, I, I I I've been rocking with him. You know what I'm saying? A minute, like, bro, bro, strong. He he's strong. You feel me? So it's like right now, it's just everything mental and just a bunch of prayers. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like, see, it's done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he in great spirits, man. He yeah. definitely he 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 a strong person, bro. Uh -huh. I can tell you that. But everything he done been through, a lot of people would have been and gave up. Yeah, but he a strong person because mm -hmm. what a, the guy just talked to all ago and seen on yeah. that screen, yeah. his spirits is not broken. Yeah, at all. So yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. part that I say is courageous, man. Yeah, man, thank you for coming on the show, man. Sure, How can brother. people get a hold of you if they try I mean, to find? Hey, man, it's b a b y s a m underscore fifty two. Everybody go follow me. Go to my YouTube, Baby Sound. You know what I'm saying? Just go to my YouTube, type in Baby Sound. Hey, and then I want y'all to understand one thing for sure, man. I always put God first. Man. You know what I'm saying? And it just shit can be happening and in one Real minute time. shit over with. You know what I mean? So that's one thing everybody just needs to understand. You know man. Hey man, make sure you guys keep uh ESG in your prayers, man. He hey man, he came on today, uh great spirits, man, and uh we're gonna be talking to him again, man. So uh we love E man and no matter what he go through, we go through it with him, man. Right. Say man, listen, man, check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk one oh one where the bosses talk. And we out.